Welcome back, guys. Financier Pro, passive income, credit, everything about personal finance here on this channel. And I have my great cup of coffee, Dream. Yes, working on our goals every single day, credit, building wealth, everything. Let's get back. Let's get into it. So how to report your rent to credit bureaus? This might be, this wasn't around when I was growing up or I wasn't taught this, but thank God I'm here to give it to you guys. Please subscribe to the channel, free podcast as well, Financier Pro on all major streaming platforms. So I love reading Nerd Wallet. I love reading a lot of blogs about personal finance, credit things like that and I know that Nerd Wallet is one of the top blogs it is on things concerning credit, investing and personal finance. So a lot of people don't know you can report your rent to the credit bureaus to build up your credit history and as long as you pay on time, don't miss any payments, it will help your credit report. But that's not the only thing that you need on your credit you need revolving installment and not really sure how rent will rent might report on there as an installment because that's something that you have to pay anyway just like a loan uh let's see overall rent payments remain rarely reported to credit bureaus and they actually did a study on this Remember, your FICO score is the real score. A lot of people have Vantage score or um, uh, Credit Karma, things like that. That's not a real score. It's like a, um, they're about maybe 10 to 20 points off or even more than a FICO score. And FICO has different uh, scoring models as well. You have mortgage scoring and car loan scoring. Um, you have credit card scoring things like that FICO 85 and all of that I have to make a video later on that but the most commonly used versions of FICO score don't use rental payment information in calculating scores so you basically have to get the rental company that you're at the apartment building or whatever to report your rental history or your payments every month and I think that is amazing because what is your biggest debt besides a car payment is your rental payments you know just like if you go buy a house that reports to your credit so why not if you're going to pay rent have a report to the credit bureaus to help you out you guys comment below let me know what you think about this which services will report rent payments some are free some are not so you have free services such as I, I'm going to butcher this ESUSU is a mobile app that helps you borrow money from peers Isusu I hope that's how you pronounce it reports rent payments to Equifax which is okay but you need something that reports to all three Zingo this service requires you to link your financial accounts to identify rent payments it works only if you live in housing managed by a property management company which probably is most of these apartment buildings Zingo reports payments to Equifax the service is free for a limited time according to Zingo's website you can add 12 months of rental history information for a one-time fee of $89.99 but I think that companies like Rent Reporters are some of the top companies, but they only report to TransUnion and Equifax. Cool, at least it's reporting to something. And right now, you probably don't have anything reporting as far as rental history or rental payments. This is a one-time enrollment fee of $94.95. This is for Rent Reporters, which includes up to two years of reported rental payments then the service is $9.95 per month. And like I said, it reports to TransUnion and Equifax. Rental Karma. Initial setup is $25. And the service is $6.95 per month. During enrollment, 
you can report payments made in the previous 24 months for a fee of $60. They only report to TransUnion, and that's Rental Karma. Level Credit, previously known as Rent Track, Level Credit charges a $6.95, $6.95 monthly fee to have your rent and utility payments reported to Equifax and TransUnion. A look back of 24 months is available for your current lease for a fee. That's cool. 24 months of credit history reported automatically just like that. But why are not none of them are messing with Experion? Hold on. I got one. I just found one that messes with Experion. And that's clear now. The service debits your rent from your checking and savings account. There's no cost to tenants. But your landlord must be signed up. If you opt in, payments are reported to Experion Rent Bureau. They just want to go with one, not all three of them. Okay. Let's see. Rock the score. There is an enrollment fee of $25 and ongoing service costs $8.95 per month. There is a $99 fee for reporting up to two years of rental history. Now, if you're going to do this, if, and rock the score reports to TransUnion and Equifax, if you're going to do this, I would pay that one-time fee, uh, $99, to report 24 months. That's 24 months, two years of rental history. Your score might boost just like that if you have other things going on. That's like an instant primary trade line. Think about it. I love that. Credit My Rent Company. The service charges a monthly fee of $6.95 and a one-time setup fee between $25 and $145, $145. Depending on what tier of service you choose, it reports to TransUnion. Now, if you sign up with any of these companies, you need to go with the one that reports to at least two of them and not just one. That's my opinion. What do you guys think? Please comment below. What questions should you ask a rent reporting service? How do you protect personal data, which is a big thing with security and all these hacking and all that information going on? Protect your data. Do you provide free access to credit scores? And you know what, guys? I'm going to post a link to this article if you want to go back and read it or save it later on in the description below. I'm going to post this. I love reading things like this and I love sharing them. Does paying rent build credit? That's the major question of credit history and credit reports. A 2017 TransUnion study followed 12,000 renters for a year as they reported their credit payments. Scores rose 16 points on average within six months after rent reporting began. Now think about that. Some of these companies will report 24 months of rental payment and add that instantly to your credit reports. Boom. Think about how much your uh, how far your score goes up when that happens. So, you guys, look into this. Do your history. Don't just go off of what I say or anyone else. Do your research. I'm sorry. Do your research. And um, let me know what you guys think in the comment in the comments below. Please subscribe to the channel, Personal Finance, Finance Year Pro. We're all about building wealth here, generational wealth. Thank you guys for being here. See you next time.